Um, you know, while we have you, want to get your insight uh, into Jorn van der Sloot as well. Right now, he is on a plane headed to the U.S., and he, of course, is the prime suspect in the 2005 disappearance of Natalie Holloway. Now, the FBI is bringing him to Birmingham, Alabama, to face federal fraud and extortion charges, not murder charges. Van der Sloot is accused of promising Holloway's family that he would reveal where their daughter's body was in exchange for hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, so we're talking about extortion, uh, not murder charges. What is the line uh, at the point where someone says, I know where your daughter is buried, pay me and I'll show you? Can't that be used in building a murder case? Well, yeah, you can you can use anything. Um, and what you're talking about is circumstantial evidence. But there still has to be more. And obviously, the authorities don't think they have enough evidence, even circumstantially, to prosecute him for the murder of Holloway. But they do have enough to get him for the extortion. So he did take $25,000 out of the 250000 that he demanded from the family, and he did extort them. So let's get him on what we can get him now while we can get him from Peru. So yeah, absolutely. Not enough for the murder, but enough to prosecute. So he took money from that family. As, in, as far as your knowledge goes, did he actually reveal anything or indicate where the body was buried? I believe he did not. Okay. You know, he's already been sentenced in Peru for a different woman's murder. If he is convicted in Alabama, would he have to serve time in the U.S. or does he go back to a prison in Peru? Well, that's an interesting um, question because he is on temporary loan from Peru. He's not a Peruvian citizen. He's not a United States citizen. He's a citizen of the Netherlands, but they're not getting involved. So it's an, it's an interesting question whether Peru would want him to finish his 28-year sentence there and then extradite him back to the United States to serve any sentence he may have on the extortion. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.